What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo here, and in this very short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a crosshair to the center of your screen. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, now I've just created a new project using the first person template, but it doesn't matter what kind of project you are using, the uh, method is exactly the same. So the very first thing I'm going to need to do is import my crosshair image. So I'm just going to right click here and import to game. And you can see I've got this image here, crosshair, which I can then import. Um, you can literally just Google crosshair if you like and get any image you like, as long as it's got that uh, blank background, which is denoted in Google by the sort of checkered background. Um, otherwise, it will kind of be a block on your screen. But with that imported, I am now going to right click and go to user interface and widget blueprint. And I'm going to create a user widget. I'm just going to call it W underscore main and open this up. And then here in the palette, I'm going to search for a canvas panel. I'm going to drag a can canvas panel out onto the designer here and I am also going to grab an image and you can either drag that out here or drag it down onto canvas panel in the hierarchy down here and then I'm going to select it and I'm going to change its anchor to the center of the screen. I'm going to zero out the position X and the position Y and I'm also going to make the size uh, identical in the X and Y. So I'm just going to make it 50 and 50 and I'm going to change the alignment to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. And then down here in appearance and brush, you'll find the image. What I can do is drop that down and just search for the crosshair that I've imported and change it to that one. And then there you go. I've got my crosshair and it's anchored to the very center of the canvas panel. I can now compile and save and close this. And then if I go into my characters blueprint for me is first person blueprints, BP first person character. And I believe the first person template doesn't come with anything on event begin play. So we can just find event begin play. Whoops. And on event begin play, we are going to create a widget. Select the class, the widget that we've just created, W underscore main, and then offer the return value here, you can add to viewport. And it is as simple as that, guys. If I hit play, you'll see I've now got a crosshair in the center of the screen, making it a little bit easier to aim. Nice. Guys, if this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.